Well, I think in West Sussex, you've got a really important moment where you've got a new approach, which is around integration and around prevention and around early help as well. And importantly, it's looking at um, all ages of children that are from naught right through to 25. So these are things which I think are absolutely crucial to ensuring that there's local support where people need them. There's some brilliant examples of youth-led activities and support locally and I think this is about everyone playing their part and developing the right kind of community and support um, in their area for young people. Um, so the new approach to joined up services and early help in West Sussex is really important but one of the things I'm really keen to stress is that you know none of us but children and young people themselves um, don't live their life as service users. Services are really important but we shouldn't define children and young people by the services that they use. So it's really important that we recognise that children have their own social networks, they have uh, their family environments, they have their digital environments, and the services need to understand that they're part of that whole. If they want to help support young people to flourish, use some of those ways of doing that too. I've been really um, interested in what happened with the referendum in Scotland where um, young people were able to vote beyond the age of 16. Um, I've been really interested to see what in Scotland they actually put in place in terms of support through school um, to help support that too. I think it's a debate that we need to have nationally and it's one that I'm keen to help young people explore but also look at the kind of support that needed in place to make it a reality. One of the things that I've got planned over the next uh, few months is actually a paper on the areas of policy and legislation that may be lost through uh, leaving the EU that are particularly important to children.